Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we've got a twofer. We are looking at two machine pistols. We've got the M93R machine pistol and the M93R A9 machine pistol. It's a movie gun. Movie gun time. They both spawn here in Home Pistol Machine Pistol M93R. And they're both chambered in 9x19mm. They both have their own magazine, which we will talk about in a bit. And they own, both have a, their own stock. Uh, let's look at the, yeah, see, same stuff in the uh, A9 spawner. All right. Let's take a look at them. Let's talk magazines. Well, these are Berettas, and yay, they take all the Beretta mags. So this is the 93R mag. Uh, this one's the 93R mag. It's a little extended one. It's a 21 round mag. That's the one that spawns with it, but it'll also take the M9 regular mag, M9A1 mag. Look at that. The M9A3 mag with the uh, colored bottom. Boop. That works. The, which one is this? The PX4 mag. Yep, it'll take a PX4 mag. Will it take the big, uh, what is that? Uh, C, ah, God damn it, CX4, yes. <laughs> the CX4 mag, it'll take all the mags. So all the Berettas work with all the Beretta magazines. How handy is that? Let's take a look at the controls on the 93R and A9. They have the same controls. So I will just be showing off the 93 here. All right, we've got, let's see, let's put a magazine in it. We've got down in the trackpad, we'll eject the magazine, like so. Up on the trackpad, we'll change the fire selector switch between safe with the white dot there, single white dot, fire, single shot, whoops, single shot, fire, three round burst, and then back to safe. So that's up on the trackpad. It does have a slide lock and release. If you press to the left on the trackpad and up, you can engage the safe, the slide lock there. You can see right there. And then release is left and down. Ta-da! And that's it. Let's see, that's up, that's down, that's left, that's right. That's it. Let's see what attachments will go in the 93R. Well, it's a little older, so we've got no rails on the top or bottom. So no red dots, no lasers, nothing cool like that. Will it take a compensator? It looks like it already got a compensator on there. This may not, well, oh, it totally works. So yes, it will take a compensator. Will it take a suppressor? Whoa, yes, especially if you get it to attach. Ta-da! Will it take a stock? Not only will it take a stock, it has a stock special stock just for it. It does not fold though. It looks like it's folding stock. It does not fold. So that will work. And this will also work on the A9 in the same way. And yes, all the same attachments will work on the A9 as well. What else we got? Ah, foregrip. Well, this already has a foregrip right here built in. Look at that. So, the question is, is will you, can you put a foregrip on the A9? No, sorry, no foregrip. And as I mentioned, there are no rails, even though it kind of looks like this thing has rails. There are no rails on it, so that's unfortunate too. Let's take a look at the sights on the 93R. Pretty weird sights. It's got a, a white bit, a white half dot in the rear notch. I've never seen that before. And it has a full white dot in the front post. The front post is pretty short there, but it, it works okay. They're really shallow. Uh, I think that's my primary, whoops, primary complaint. They're really shallow. Let's take a look at the A9. Oh, much better, much deeper cut, much taller front post. These I like better, even though it does kind of get lost in the sheer amount of mass that's around that front post. But yeah, that's an easier sight picture, even without the white dot, I think. Yeah, you can really level that much easier. Nice. All right, let's do the recoil test. We've got single fire. We've got three round burst. We've got pistol style. We've got holding it with a foregrip. We've got all the attachments. This is going to take a while, folks. All right, let's start with... Single shot, pistol style, 
Here we go, firing as fast as I can. Hmm, interesting, kind of jumps around a bit. Uh, 8.9 though, very good result for 9x19. Moving on, let's try it with the compensator. Hmm, very interesting, 9.1. Slight improvement, very nice. Let's try the suppressor. Ooh, weird unpredictability in this gun. 7.9, still a good result, but, you know, there's a weird jumpiness to it. It uh, kind of catches me off. Move up to the stock. Hmm, 9.4, now we're talking. Really flattened out that vertical deviation in the, uh, in the results. No strays. Yeah, that helped a lot. It was good first shot, too. Nice. Stock and compensator. Hmm. 945, about the same as the stock. A little jumpy. Finally, the stock and suppressor. Hmm. 925. Very nice. All right. Three round burst. Well, okay, they're flying off the paper, so that's a zero. Let's see if the compensator can tame the three round burst. Nope, still off the paper. All right, let's try the silencer, you know, suppressor rather, you know what this is gonna be. It's gonna be off the paper. Yeah, it's, it's kind of rough. All right, let's see if the stock will tame this beast. Hmm, not a great first shot, but you know, everything is on the paper, 20 of them. 7.6 average, all right, big improvement. All right, adding the compensator, let's see if we can beat that 7.6. Hmm, 8.55, yes, even with a not so great first shot. Big improvement. Now with the suppressor and the stock. Ooh, 7 1. Still doing well. Now we're going to try two handed, grabbing the foregrip. Very, very wiggly. 8.45, though. That's pretty good. Two hands with the compensator. Ooh, it's so wiggly. They're so wiggly. It's only a 705, but that's just because I wiggled it off the off the paper. It's so wiggly. All right, suppressor. My God, it's so wiggly. The distance between where you're gripping it on the pistol and where you grip it here. I mean, practically, my controllers are touching. So it's there's just no radius there. You've got this incredible wiggle to it. All right, I think I have an idea on how to tame the wiggles. I'm going to grab it here on the foregrip, and then I'm actually going to extend my arm out to where it would normally be on like a rifle or something. That seems to not disconnect the foregrip, but I get to have a much longer radius and much longer distance between my, my, my two hands. So let's try that. Okay, there we go. My hand is actually way out in front. Now that does pull the gun way up into my nose. Let's see if I can do this easier. Oh my gosh, still wiggly. Yeah, it's still rough. 755. Ah, it's about the same. Oh well, it's worth a try. Where were we? Stock. Mm -mm 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 865. Doing okay. Stock comp and four grip. We've got a word. Lateral distribution there, 875. Still not amazing. And suppressor. Eight eight five. A little a little better with that. I think that was just me getting a little better with the wiggles. And finally three round burst with the foregrip. 
Hmm, better, but still off the paper. Suppressor? Nah. Nah. Stock. Yeah, now we're talking. 8.1. Yeah, it's the stocks, man. The stocks are the answer to all these machine pistol problems. Stock and comp. This should be good. Ooh. Nine. That was good. Woo. And finally, stock and suppressor. Hmm. 8.7. It does seem to have this weird circular pattern going, doesn't it? Moving on to the A9. Ooh. Is that a Robocop gun? I think it's a Robocop gun. Single fire. Hmm. I think this... I think the sights are a little off. I think I gotta aim a little bit low. Yeah, the sights are aiming high. So I'm gonna aim low on this one. Got a nice 10. Got a 9.52. Pretty damn good result. Yes, you can put a compensator on this. 9.52 to beat. Let's see what the comp does. Ooh, 9.5. Not necessarily better, but still very good. This is a long gun. Hmm, 9-3, still very good. Let's try it with the stock. Ooh, 9-4-5. We're right there, right in the wiggle zone. Compensator and stock. It's still got a little bit of a wiggle to it. 9-5 or 9-4-5. 9.5 is about as good as it's going to get with that little wiggle, I think. Stock and suppressor. This thing is ridiculous. Hmm, bad first shot, and I've lost my screen. There we are. 9.4. About the same as the others. And finally, on to the three round burst. Remember, we have no foregrip on this one. Well, the first shots are going nicely. Second and third shots are going off the paper, so what's the point of having it in three round burst? Let's try the comp. Again, first shots are going nicely on target. Second and thirds are way up in the ceiling. And suppressor. Yep, same thing. Now, let's try the stock. Ooh, 7.4. Okay, so the first shots are going really well. And the second and thirds are at least within the five and six ring. So you got a chance. If you aim low with that first shot, the second and thirds might get on target as well. So big improvement with the stock. Now it's actually usable. All right, stock and comp. Robocop didn't need a stock and comp. Ooh, 8.2 didn't get a 10 on the first shot, but that's okay. Doing really well now. Yeah, that's an improvement. Stock and suppressor. Three round burst. Oof, really jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy, 7-7. Seven, seven. Not too bad. Not too bad. There you have it. The 93R and 93R A9 Robocop gun in 9x19 Parabellum. Very lovely. I like the selective fire on it. Makes it much more useful, usable. I would not use the three round burst unless you get a stock. Even with the compensator, it's not enough. Get the stock. Then you got the three round burst going. Till next time, I will see ya. Oh my god, stop recording.